My son was hurt in 2018, and they sent him to urgent care um, through workers' comp. Mm-hmm. And he started hurting later on that night, so we took him to the emergency room. And they're, uh, we're still receiving a bill for that, and we're trying to see, you know, is it us that's liable, or would it be the workers' comp that was liable? Okay, and, and, and Cynthia, uh, what month of 2018 did it happen, and how August. old is your son? August, and he's 19 now. He's 19 now. Okay. Um, Cynthia, I think you're, you're, you're fine in this situation. She, uh, or, or your son should be fine. Number one, the statute of limitations, um, and it sounds like an on-the-job injury, is going to be two years from the date of the accident. And so if this happened in August of 18, then you still have several months. Um, and, and then also, a minor, someone who is less than the age of 19, the statute of limitations does not start running for that individual until their, their 19th birthday because anyone under uh, the age of 19 in, in the state of Alabama is a, is a minor. They're not an adult, and therefore they, the, the statute of limitations does not start running until they become uh, an adult. And so it sounds like your son should be fine. And as far as, you know, sh- should workers comp be p- paying the bill? Absolutely. If, uh, if he was employed at the time of the accident and workers comp, uh, or if the company has workers comp, then absolutely they should be paying the bill. So I would, whatever bills you're getting, I would uh, t- take to the employer. Plus, I would speak to a workers' comp lawyer because he may have some additional benefits coming to you that no one else is going to tell you about. Uh, the employer is not going to tell you. The insurance company is not going to tell you. So uh, I would uh, immediately seek the help of a workers' comp lawyer to see what his rights are. Does it get more complicated? Because I know this happens in accident cases where um, when, when the hospitals uh, find out that you're the victim of <laughs> right. you know, in a car crash, and I don't know if that, that's why I'm asking, I don't know if it's the same in workers' comp, do they bill differently because they don't, if, if you're involved in a car accident, um, the hospital finds right. out they don't. They won't bill your private insurance. They right. they bill. They want part of the settlement because they can get paid at a higher rate. And so, it, would it be the same in a workers' comp case? It, it, it could be. Um, um, I've not seen it before, but then again, I, my my firm we don't do a lot of workers' comp, but it, I would not doubt it whatsoever. But workers' comp has to pay. You know, the good thing about workers' comp, if you're on the job and you're injured, you're covered by workers' comp without exception unless there was, you know, unless you were going, going to fail a drug test or uh, um, um, alcohol test or something like that. If you're working and you're injured, you're going to be covered and it doesn't matter if it's your fault or someone else's fault. And that's different than a regular liability situation, a non-working type of situation, say that you're in a car wreck. In order for you to recover in a car wreck, you have to be uh, you know, 100% not at fault. It has to be someone else. If you're, you know, if you slip and fall at a grocery store, it has to be the store's fault and not your fault. If you're working, it doesn't matter whose fault it is. They have to pay your medical bills. But uh, in this situation, I would, uh, you know, I would encourage you to immediately talk to a workers' comp lawyer, find out what the rights are. But as far as the timeline, your son's fine. 